Hi, beautiful people. Steph, checking in. I know it's been quite some time since I put out a video or any content. Uh, been spending a lot of time working a ton and traveling more and meditating and creating and um, yeah, just uh, sitting with myself and processing a lot of thought forms, patterns of thinking and feeling that um, have kept me stuck um, or in a state that is not really serving my highest good. So I realized that um, part of my healing is, is expressing. So I am choosing to um, become more involved in just sharing what it is that is going on in my life or topics of uh, things that interest me that I um, suppose or believe that others would be able to um, align with or perhaps receive some healing as well uh, through my experience and sharing certain things. So um, I think uh, my, the, what I want to focus on or what I want to share or talk about today is, is the value and the importance of community. Uh, I believe that all of us are pretty much seeing how rich and important and how meaningful it is to connect with family, with friends, with co-workers, um, people we don't even know. Just being out in public and seeing people um, just be out and about and living life. Um, it's been really interesting, uh, you know, since all the lockdowns and isolation and separation that was, you know, occurring last year uh, here in Texas, we are pretty much open, um, mask mandate lifted, uh, you know, and I think that there was, I, I really struggled so much last year with this idea of suppression of expression of self and to me that was the main symbol the, the, the symbolism around the mask I, I understand that there's other reasons around it as as a mystic I'm always seeing uh, the hidden meaning behind things so I, I feel that right now we're in this process of, of liberation and I mean I'm just every moment is a new moment every day is a new day who knows what's to come uh, but I'm really just finding gratitude, you know, for uh, for the, um, it seems like there's just more of a liberation uh, and, and, and people uh, really coming together um, out celebrating life. Um, it's such a gift when I go to the park and I just see all these people jogging and working out and, you know, being close to one another, communing, and um, it just, it, it feels like this, this revival, like this energy in my heart just starts moving and I, I, I feel this excitement um, to, to see con connection, community, and um, really every day um, in my meditations and just throughout the day, I've been reflecting on just how rich the relationships that I have in my life, um, the people that are in my life and, and all that they, they give to me energetically, physically, um, just heart connection, um, all the beautiful people that have come to visit this year, um, you know, to be able to assist and serve and, um, and transform transformational journeys um, with with such beautiful souls and um, you know carrying that with me and in, in my heart and in my soul um, so many of my close friends you know are all over the states and some in different countries and uh, it was such a gift to connect with um, our beautiful meditation community we went to a workshop with dr. Joe last month um, and yeah, just seeing so many beautiful souls that I hadn't seen in a long time. And um, it's as if time hadn't passed, you know, and that's just such a gift um, to be able to pick up and share authentically um, from the heart and, and share gifts um, and energy and, um, and allow to be held and, and, and to hold another in their process of, of release or expression or acceptance um, and celebration of victories. Um, it's just, wow, like so amazing. So, you know, I, I, because we live in duality, so we have this, 
you know, black, white, right, wrong, good, bad. I mean, um, up, down. I mean, we, you know, there's these pol these polarities that 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 exist, and and in what we call life here in this third dimension. Um, I find that the gift and some of the things that were occurring last last year, and I understand that some people are still very much in, in an imprisoned, isolated state. And, you know, I continue to open my heart and send prayers and this, you know, frequency of, of love and, and freedom and wholeness to, to all mankind. Um, but I, I, you know, and I noticed that through the experiences that we all had last year, uh, it really created that uh, contrast, that ability to see and to perceive and to embody the gratitude and the appreciation because of the lack of connection, the lack of community, of that, of feeling someone's embrace, um, of holding somebody's hand, of holding somebody's face, wiping their tears while they're crying in a process or or hugging somebody and celebrating joy for whatever accomplishment that, that they've just you know acquired or received to see somebody smile I, the other day I, I was watching I, I rarely watch TV but I with a with a friend was watching um, an, um, a Netflix show uh, uh, and I was I had the biggest belly laugh and just laughter and this expression of of these elevated emotions it's just been like wow like so beautiful and i'm very much in aligned with how the seasons work so the sun is shining it's like super sunny here and in, in texas and being able to go out and just embrace that energy and just feel the sun hit my body i mean i just feel elated um so you know i i just feel that um I, I'm able to see and, and understand that, 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 that the gift of this time that we had in, 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 in isolation and in separation really created that contrast to be able to um, have deeper appreciation for the connections that we have and to realize that it's not that for myself, I, I'm, I'm just so much more aware that my journey here in life is not about serving myself. Of course, we're here, we, we must, uh, you know, meet certain expectations or do certain things in order for us to survive so that we can serve and, 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 and help other people. But this is such a journey about, about giving um, from, from the heart of whatever we have to offer. And in that process of giving from that state, we receive tenfold. The, the, these are beautiful cosmic laws that I, I mean, you know, I, I think that it would be really interesting if, if there was, you know, if we were taught this, you know, growing up in school, like how, how energy works and how certain things in the universe, the laws of the universe align when, um, but I suppose that it's all perfect and it's all part of the journey. And when we're supposed to reach that understanding then then you know events and situations and circumstances will align for us to be able to embody that and really live that so um i just feel so grateful i feel so grateful for all the beautiful soul sisters and soul brothers in my life that are you know guiding me and aiding me and walking with me on this journey i've had some really um really intense, profound, um, dark nights of the soul, some hellish uh, processes uh, that I have not one bit. F I mean, there have been moments where I, I feel alone, but the truth of the matter is, is I'm, I'm surrounded around like so many people that love me. And um, just a, 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 I, I want to impart this as well, because often I think it's so, um, I think because of my past where I, I, I took so much and I, and I didn't appreciate life um, at all. I, I was so tortured in, in my journey or my process of self-destruction um, and not thinking that there was a way out. I, I couldn't see light. And so in my journey of transformation um, with meditation, uh, the shamanic path, I began uh, to to realize the, the divinity, the gift of life. And, um, and so then I began to um, 
really uh, realize that that I have a lot to give. And so I, I, you know, over the last, I don't know, I would say several weeks, I, I have, I have found myself expressing deep, 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 deep gratitude um, to many people in my life that have given so much love um, and attention and care, you know, to me, for me. And um, I just kind of had this, this realization, like this download of information came through when I say download, it's just like energy information that just all of a sudden it's like, boom, like awareness, um, of, of, of a situation or scenario or something it is that I've been grappling with or, or process that all of a sudden there's this clarity. And, um, and I realized that because everything in this world is vibration and frequency that it's, I am a vibrational match to the people and the energy in my life that I'm so grateful for, that this wouldn't be happening if I wasn't embodying it and indeed giving this out as well to the people in my life. And, you know, I, I think so often too, we, there, there's, um, there's these programs that, 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 that we've been fed through media, through just, um, indoctrination of, of, mindsets of, of things that have been just kind of led over a lifetime that sometimes we, we we're not aware of them um and 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 i believe that the uh, the honoring or the loving of, of of oneself is something that's been kind of diminished or looked at as you know egoic or um uh, this idea that one is being um how do i how do i phrase this like um, self-serving or, um, yeah, just egotistical, like when one shares and loves themselves, but I believe it's a different frequency from what it is that I'm, 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 I'm sharing about. So I, I, in totality, I guess if I can bring this around is for so long, I, I didn't, I didn't, um, I was, I didn't feel like I brought so much to life. I, I, fo I, I saw how much I took and and i would beat myself up i mean you know and sure sometimes this comes up still you know because um it's it's such an ingrained pattern of just you know being so hard on myself for where i've gone wrong and i'm beginning to create this shift and begin to place my attention and look at you know where i'm where i've gone right like where 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 at, what am i doing that's working and there's a lot, there's so much. So as I've really um, generated, um, cultivated and just embraced a sense of gratitude for the community that I have, my, my beautiful shamanic tribe, my beautiful meditation tribe, my beautiful like blood family, um, my esoteric Sundays group, I mean, all of these amazing souls that I meet along the way and the, and, and the, and the relationships that I've cultivated, um, is is only possible because I've aligned to it that I I give a lot of love a lot of compassion um, presence uh, wisdom with those in my life and and therefore the universe must match that therefore this is what I'm receiving so yeah, um, I just want to thank, you know, each and every one of you that is, is tuning into this and listening to this because at some level we're connected. So thank you for the energy that you share with me. Um, and I'm grateful to share my energy with you. So, um, yeah, I will be doing more of these. Um, my perfectionism comes up. I'm like, I have to have the perfect topic and have everything laid out, blah, blah, blah. I'm just speaking from the heart. And so I'll be doing this more. So thank you, thank you, thank you. My brothers and sisters, I love you so much. Um, super excited to see what unfolds. Um, talk soon. Ciao.